Hi Bruce from Safari and we're here with our latest blue healer pack for Peter Sloop of Sloop Imports in the USA and this pack here is for a Mercedes Sprinter in fact it's going in a 219 model Sprinter and uh, what's quite different with this blue healer pack is this is this one will have the CAN bus alternator controller the batteries are also CAN bus so let me just come back here you can see the percentage there not a shunt in here and these batteries down below these two 48 volt pair will communicate directly with the alternator controller here and charge up to five kilowatts into these batteries, which uh, will fully replenish these batteries here. It's 400 amp hours of lithium at 12 volts, fully replenish it within an hour of driving. Then we've got our usual terminations, Wago fuses. This is our 48 volt end here, and that's our 12 volt end, so that they're separated out. Solar controllers in there will handle a thousand watts. And then we've got the usual uh, 3000 watt inverter charger. How good We've lifted the kimono here on uh, Sloop Imports, a Mercedes Sprinter um, Blue Healer Pack for 3000 watts. And let's have a look inside here. The alternator controller, which will control five Ooh. kilowatts of charging, so uh, it will charge these two batteries down here in one hour. Um, it's installed inside the cabin, there's no actual power that goes through that. And then we've got a 48 to 12 here. This uh, unit here will supply the power for the fridge, all the 12 volt circuits. Um, nice little mega fuse here. We've got a 20 amp at 48 volt. Well, it runs at 50 actually. Charger here, MPPT. So that will do a thousand watts off the roof at 100 volts PV. Um, we've got a smart battery protect down the bottom here, and it's running 300 watts of luxury underfloor heating. Just incredible. Uh, we've got the turbo on the top here, which is communicating. That gives Peter 24-7, 365-day backup where we can uh, see the system running and um, monitor it from anywhere in the world, um, providing he's got internet connection, of course. Um, he's got four temperatures running in here because of the underfloor heating and the requirement to really um, keep that nice and toasty in the, when there's a bit of spring snow. Uh, terminations at the bottom, Wago fuses that are here. So this is 12 volt with 12 volt distribution, 48 volt, 48 volt distribution. So we've got the alternator coming in here, the solar coming in here, and uh, the heater running out of there. And then on the 12 volt, we're going out to the classic switch. So he has this switch installed uh, within the van and the terminations for that switch come back to here to pick up the points. And then he's got some uh, USB outlets as well uh, all nice alloy all exactly the same size as the screen and uh, they're coming out of here as well so and we've got the usual spare anderson output here so the uh, setup here is only uh, 258 wide that's in millimeters apologies america and 141 millimeters high and just under uh, just around uh, 500 millimeters long so very, very compact. This can go on its side. Uh, it doesn't have to be sitting upright. So it'll go into the Sprinter, back under the bed, or on the side wall, or under the kitchen cupboard. Um, here are the batteries that we looked at before. Uh, that's the size of the cables, just 25 mil squared, because it's all running at 48 volt, coming in and out. And, uh, and then the inverter will go off to one side. So that's the inside view of the so that was the inside view. I've now popped the cover back on again. Uh, the end cover here uh, slides onto the end here. And uh, we've got little black knurled plastic uh, knobs in there. And then we've got the switch at the bottom here uh, can also turn the unit on and off. So um, very nice compact. Uh, congratulations, Peter. How good's that?